Uh, we often talk about the role augmented and virtual reality is sure to play in industries, yeah. particularly in industries like fashion. Uh, virtual reality may still be kind of lagging behind augmented reality. Uh, is AR a, a big player in, in fashion or is this a, a hypothetical future? Uh, uh, it's more hypothetical. You know, people have played a little bit with it, but you know, the, the powerful, you know, the killer use case hasn't fully emerged, but it seems interesting and I suspect we'll see it like, you know, somebody will play with it on the runway and then I think in the sales process there's certainly, you know, a lot of some compelling aspects to being able to get a 360 view and get closer and, and zoom, you know, kind of experience like what these things are. So, um, but the, uh, the killer app, the killer use case isn't, isn't clear yet. So, yeah. Uh, so, uh, last question for you, Abe. Uh, you're an entrepreneur, you're somebody who took risks, and your risks you have converted into a successful business. What advice do you have for other entrepreneurs, whether they're, they are strictly tech or have another fantastic idea? How would you advise other entrepreneurs to start their business and uh, uh, maintain their business? Like you said, you've been doing this for 10 yeah. years, so how do you stick with it? Uh, I mean, there's an element of luck that you can't get around, um, but the luck's worthless unless you work incredibly hard and be ready to take advantage of the luck when it comes along. So, you know, you got to put the hours in. But more than anything, like, try and make something that doesn't exist, right? Try and, you know, it's not about seeing what everybody else is doing and trying to copy them. It's about trying to figure out, like, what, what does the world actually need? Like, is there something, uh, a gap? Is there a space that, that you can fill? And if you can deliver that and, and you can deliver something that, that resonates with you, then it's probably going to resonate with other people.